Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and I am a photographer and a reseller. Today I have a haul for you. Um, I went to the new um, outlet in Indianapolis for the first time. It just opened, I think, last week. I also have some other items that don't have anything to do with reselling. This morning was the first time it's really felt fall outside, so I'm wearing this what this uh, Riot Society sweatshirt that's for sale in my store. Um, <laughs> and I also went to Aldi this morning. There's a Facebook group called the Isle of Shame. One shares all the best Aldi things that come out every week. One of them being this, because I'm basic. And the new candles. We've got Fall Breeze, which is my favorite one. This kind of smells like evergreen. Apple Cider Donut. Pine Cones and Plaid. Hayrides and Bonfires, which smells... I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what that smell is, but what does a hayride or a bonfire smell like? That would smell like smoke. Almost like a laundry smell. Also something that you didn't know that you needed, a rechargeable lighter from Amazon. It's kind of like a taser. <laughs> So hopefully that's the last lighter I ever have to buy for all these candles. It's been a few days since I went to the outlet, but I picked up some records for myself. I collect records. I picked up the Four Tops, Motown, Joe Cocker, and Elvis. I can hear the mailman scanning my packages in. I love him. I also picked up pre-taping under wrap because I sprained my ankle, so now I have to tape my ankle before I play volleyball. So that was a good find for me. I forgot I, I found this geode, is that what it's called? A glitter rock. This is what I put my outlet stuff in. It's a LuLaRoe body bag. <laughs> the first thing is this L.L. Bean children's coat was in great condition. I found these two vintage hats. They definitely need some work, but overall in good condition. This one has somebody's name in it. I don't think that's the designer name because it's doe skin felt wool hat and polka dot feathers. This one is Betmar New York. I look horrible with a hat. Well it's actually kind of oh my god my head is big. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> wow. Hot. A hoodie that says I'd rather be in Alabama, which is true for at the beach. This robe by Morgan Taylor XXL. It has the string attached, which I appreciate because those always get lost. <clears throat> Then we have Old Navy size 16 shorts. 
I'm gonna send those to thread up. More shorts. I just like the pattern. This beaded top from Chico's. How does this go? I think it's new because it has the extra beads with it. I know this is controversial, but wow. I have um, a vintage fur hat. I do sell vintage fur, um, but obviously fur is not good if you're buying it from a luxury store. But secondhand, it's so soft. Wow, I am not a hat person. <laughs> I'm gonna have to soak this, but it is a vintage Western shirt. It's got an Indian embroidered with a moon on the back. I got this leopard print scarf for me. It's very soft. It's gonna be winter, um, but I found these Ann Taylor cashmere gloves that are new. They came from Goodwill, I guess. I mean, the actual store Goodwill. Okay, this is a hoodie auto car always up logo on the back. It's a zip up. Size large. This I'm sending the thread up. It's a Max Studio dress. And it's pleated. Size small. These are button fly wedgie straight size 25 Levi's. And they've got a raw hem. And they look to be um, high waisted. This I thought was cool. It's Expo 86 Vancouver, Canada. So neat. Next we have a new with tags Fenty bra. Size 32C. Then I found this Wolfwise. Yeah, Wolfwise. It's a pop up tent for either camping when you're changing. I bought it so when I'm on location at a photo shoot, someone can change right there. We don't have to find a restroom. My hair is wild. I found a Deftones band tee. So small. And then I found a pretty little thing latex pant. Size eight. Black contrast stitch vinyl trouser. Why does my nose run every time I turn the camera on? 
there's the stitching. This is gonna go to thread up. It's a Talbot's skirt. And all of this costs about $25. I, I filled the whole cart within like 10 minutes and then I left because I have a sprained ankle and I shouldn't have even been walking. I found this pillowcase. I like the pattern. It's embroidered kind of. There's no maker on it, but that's what it looks like. It's pretty big. And lastly from the outlet, we have a swimsuit by Nip Tuck. It's a multi-fit cup. What does that even mean? Size 8. I love that kind of top. It's kind of a 50s style. At the regular Goodwill, I found a Burberry umbrella. This sweatshirt has the same pattern on the back. It's a Japanese graphic. Okay, then I found this, I think it's a quilt, and it's got a map of the United States. So upside down. No. So I thought that was cute. From like the baby's room. It's not very big. That's the back. I stopped at a Goodwill on a whim when I was driving by because I just can't drive by without going in. And they brought out all of this Fabletics. So this is the cool print, and I believe they're all size small. This one has pockets with a cutout detail. This one also has a cutout with a stripe. They need to be steamed. <clears throat> there is a gray pair with kind of a shiny material and it says Girl Almighty on the on the bottom. So that was cute. Then we have I think that might be the same kind. This pocket. These seem to all be high waist. This is a different brand. It is Balance Athletica. It's a little bit of a thinner material. They bought so many of these. There were also Lululemon with these, but they were so worn out that I just left them behind. I, could, I couldn't even take a sweater shaver to it. This has a mesh bottom. These are plain black. plain, got a pocket. Then I have a New With Tags hat by Brist MFG, right? Yeah. And it's got a bear logo. So we'll see how that does. A Nike sports bra. Since I don't. It's 
There's large. This is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame t-shirt. Prepare to rock. <laughs> this is a cloth and stone button up. Let's see what kind of material this is. Cotton, extra small. Is a John Barbados long sleeve plain v neck. John Barbados does pretty well for me. And so does Effie's heart. This is a dress with wiener dogs on it. Cute. It's a size small and it's a wrap style dress with a flare bottom. This one I wasn't sure about. It's kimchi blue. It used to do well, but not so much anymore. So maybe on thread up that'll do better. And it's got a tie sleeve. This is a size medium. Sorry if I'm not looking in the right spot. It's weird. It's weird talking to yourself as, as it is, but I can't look at the right spot. This is just a J. Crew shirt with a crab on it. Men's size large. Oh, you want some? Is Lily. <laughs> oh god. I bought this friends baseball tee. Size large women's. Lily's here. She's sniffing her bombs. A torrid orange top. This one I was excited about. It's a tie-dye Bob Dylan shirt. <laughs> really got in the bag. That's a medium and the year on it's 2003. Next, I found a Free People tunic, I think. With an orange floral pattern and a flare sleeve. Size large. I've been having trouble finding their stock photos lately. Next, I found this Patagonia t-shirt, size large. And a Chicago Blackhawks graphic tee by Pressbox, size extra large. It's a burnout tee. This is a no brand, but it says no shadow, you won't light up. Mountains, you won't climb up. And that's kind of a vintage graphic. Lastly, a Star Wars tie-dye. I don't really pick up Star Wars, but I thought the tie-dye was cool, so it's a size large. that is everything um i hope you enjoyed this haul so thank you for watching um please like and subscribe i'm a new youtuber so it would really help me out bye